and welcome back to my channel. So over the years, I have gone through a bun evolution. I think the messy bun is solely now reserved for cleaning or running errands. Maybe not because I feel like I put my hair into this bun a lot now. I just like how it looks and I love the little ball right on top of my head. And I've gotten a ton of questions on how to get a bun with a center part. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this to this. As you can see, have evolved, like I said, over the years. And now I'm just currently into this bun. So I'm gonna show you guys all the steps that I do to get it. I feel like it's probably gonna take me a little extra longer because I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing. And it always works out like that, right? Like when you try to show somebody, it's never the best. <laughs> it's always when you're not trying that things work out a little bit better. Before I jump into the bun, I quickly want to share with you guys my Audible pick of the month. You know, I've been partnered with Audible forever and ever. It's one of my favorite things to do is listen to an audiobook, especially if I'm going to sleep at night, if I'm in the car, if I just need to relax. And when I first started listening to Audible, I was listening to a lot of like self-help books or self-empowerment books. Self, I don't, I feel like people are a little weird when you say self-help but they definitely were self-help books and I still get asked um, about those so as always I will leave my favorite ones in the bottom bar if you guys want to check those out audible has an unmatched selection of books whatever you guys want they have they have audible originals they have like sleep cast they now have podcasts they just have so many more options than when I started listening to audible which I think is really amazing so if you guys want to try audible for yourself you can go to audible.com slash Nicole or you can text Nicole to 500 500 I'm currently re-listening to Think and Grow Rich. This book has been around forever and ever. It was first published in 1938 and I feel like I'm a little bit of a book nerd and I really like to listen to books from like way beyond my time because I feel like this guy was just like so ahead of himself. Like his knowledge was just like superseded the generation that he was in. So I've listened to Think and Grow Rich a few different times. I feel like I've probably listened to it like four or five times and I feel like every single time I listen, it's like a brand new book and I take away something new each time. So I feel like it's a really great book. You just gain a lot of wisdom from it. I feel like you learn a lot from it too and that's the kind of books that I like to listen to. I do like to listen to fiction. Like last month I was listening to The Queen's Gambit but I really love it. Again, it is Think and Grow Rich and if you guys wanna listen to it for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole. Start downloading. I love that if you don't like a book, from Audible, you can return it, download a new one, super easy, very, very relaxing, and I always say this, but I feel like the world could just be more relaxed. So listen to an audiobook and chill. <laughs> okay, so, oh, no, no, Napoleon. We're not ready. Let's get into this hair look. Let's click back to when my hair was looking a little more wild, shall we? Okay. So now since we're back to this hair, this is my air dried hair. This is just what it looks like whenever I just let it live its life. Um, I have my headband in from when I was doing my makeup. I haven't brushed my hair. And usually when I do this bun, I do it on uh, cleaner hair. I do it on more dirty hair. So I'm going to add a little bit of a dry shampoo to my hair just so that it grips a little bit easier because I don't know about you guys, but when I have freshly clean washed hair, it's just so soft. Like it just falls. It barely stays in a bun. So by adding this dry shampoo, it just gives a lot of like grit and texture to the hair, which I really like for doing buns. It's great if you want to do a messy bun with this too because like I said it just gives like a lot of texture to the hair. Texture, grit, I don't know the right word to use. It just makes it easier like on you. I love this dry shampoo. It's so good. I've talked to you guys about it a couple times but like usually with dry shampoos I'll go through a bottle and then like I'm on to the next. I just keep going back and buying this because it's really really good. So, I don't know if I'm gonna brush my hair for this. <laughs> I rarely brush my hair. <laughs> so then once we got like a little bit of grit going on so that it would like be easier for us. I don't know if a hoodie was the best option but I'm really cold right this second. But it's gonna be like choking me <laughs> in the video. So I've seen a bunch of different ways to do a bun, like a high bun with a center part. Some people will part their hair and then like 
take these chunks out, put their hair in a bun, and then pull this back. That just doesn't work for me, and I'm just like, I just, it just, it takes, it takes a lot. I'm gonna take my rings off because we are gonna be using some styling paste, which is from R and Co. And this is their mannequin styling paste, and this is the best kind of product that I've ever used for doing like a sleek looking bun. <sighs> I'm also out of breath. I don't know why. And then you're gonna need some kind of like bore bristly brush. I don't wanna show you guys the front of this because it's a, it looks a little rough and I just realized it looks even more rough in front of these lights. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need some kind of bore bristle brush. This styling paste is where it's at. I got mine from Amazon. I like all of these Arn Co products. They have this really nice dry shampoo paste, which is really nice for adding like a lot of grit and texture to like beachy waves. So I'm going to just get my center part going. Like it doesn't need to be perfect. Also, I've never done this sitting down. Like anytime I do my bun, I'm standing up. So hmm. it's going to be different. So I'm going to try to just get my part going. It doesn't have to go all the way back because your bun's going to be there. Anyways, so that looks good. And then my bun will probably be like here. So he's good there. And then I'm going to go in with some of the paste. And I feel like I kind of use a lot. I like it because it keeps everything nice and tame, but it also never gets like crunchy or flaky or dry, which is what I really like. So I start here. And then start slicking it back like how you know you're gonna wear it so I always usually leave like a little bit of hair out oh, I didn't mean to get paste in that <laughs> but it'll be okay so just keep slicking that back. We're gonna brush it so all the product will I'll just appear in a second. And then this side. Who's staying out? Who's staying out? Okay. And then I just get some underneath as well. <laughs> and then we can start slicking it back <laughs> into our bun. Like I said, a hoodie probably wasn't the best idea, but I'm cold. And then we can start pulling this back. We're gonna pull all our baby hairs back up and I'll show you what I do to make my hair look more full. Got a little extra in there, huh? And then you see how I brush it like I brush it like it's like whoop. Yeah, I feel like you need the sound effects or it just doesn't go as good. I know I lost that little piece, but we'll get it back. Get it back quick though. Okay. It's really weird to do it. And then I keep alternating hands so I can keep grabbing hair. You stay out, sir. So much more work, but I like how it looks in the end. I love the little ball. It makes me feel like the little ball bun <laughs> makes me feel like a ballerina. It's swoopy. And I'm like kind of pulling it up, like pushing my hair up so that my bun is higher. I take all my hair and start to twist it. And then I keep this finger, like my pointer finger. There we go. I was going the wrong way. Pointer finger is in the middle of the bun. And then once I have it all wrapped, I'll secure it with a hair tie. So every time I keep my finger in the middle of the bun like that, I get a perfect little ball like that. And then I really start to push these hairs back 
same on this side before I pin because we're gonna pin our hair down too just so he's slick in these hairs so that it's like shoop. oh he's looking a little wonky back there but with the part I'll like push it down like this and then I'll bobby pin it into the bun Like that. And I'm sure everybody knows this, but say, I don't know, say you're like a youngin' and you're watching this video. When I was younger, I used to put the bobby pin with the flat side down on my head, but you actually want to put the curvy side down on your head because it just adds a lot more grip and it'll just make everything uh, more secure for you. I like to take some Magic Root cover-up and I'll spray in any like sparseness. This is just gonna make your hairline look a lot fuller. sometimes right onto my damn forehead <laughs> and I've used a bunch of different like stuff is like stuff is I've used a bunch of different things like for edges baby hairs whatever you want to call them this is the Hicks edge control I like it because it looks like a little bit shiny but it's not super shiny and I like it because it doesn't ever get like crusty or crunchy so you could use like one of these little brushes which is nice to use the the little comb to get like your hairs out and about so that you can get them in place but for me I like to use a little spoolie because I just think it works best for me so get these guys together and then I always brush it back into the hair This is nice too because sometimes it just makes your forehead like not look like a 38 head like me. <laughs> but if you did use the root cover up like I did, be, a, be careful because you could like smear it all over your head. So we'll just do this guy. And then brush all that back. And the spoolie works really nice to make everything smooth around and then I just kind of leave this guy wild what well, wild and crazy kids that's why when you try to show people what you do it doesn't want to work <laughs> and then I finish everything off with some like shine spray so everything looks nice and shiny especially like this bun part boom Baby bun. Oh my god, I got like makeup all over this thing from it choking me out. I love wearing my hair like this. The key product is this guy right here. I feel like it makes it so easy to like snatch your hair back. And my part doesn't look so parted because it did get hit with a little bit of this root cover up. So it just looks a little bit darker, which is fine with me. It just makes your hair, it just makes your hair look more full than it actually is. And this bun. He's not going nowhere, okay? He is locked and loaded all day. So that is it for me and my baby bun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have all the products that I use listed down below. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye guys.